Hello, how's it going? I'm sorry that I've been annoying you so much lately, but I'm just getting really old. Now, just like everybody else, I started off 2020 with the best of intentions. You know, I think this year I will finally renovate this bathroom. Really? Yeah. This is gonna be the year. Now, the first thing that waylaid that plan was a wicked case of sciatica that I got from a herniated disc. And that laid me up for about two months. And then as soon as I was getting over that, COVID happened. My beautiful bathroom renovation project has gone on hold. In the meantime though, this shower head has developed a constant drip. It is driving me bananas. I went to the Delta Faucet website to figure out exactly which part I needed to fix this particular problem. Unfortunately, because this faucet handle is original to the house, which is about 20 years old, I had to reach out to the customer service department to find out exactly which part I needed to fix it. They were only about five bucks on Amazon, and I'll put the link to that in the description and or the comments, but keep in mind that yours might be different for your faucet. Now, before you do anything with a plumbing fixture like this, you have to shut the water off. And although sinks and toilets have their own little shutoff valve next to the fixture, my shower does not. And I think a lot of showers are like that. So I actually had to go down to my basement and shut the water off to the entire house and then let the water drain out before I can even get started. And you really gotta turn that thing as tight as you can clockwise. Otherwise, you're gonna have a low, steady stream of water the whole time while you're trying to work. Now, usually on this, there's a decorative cap that covers up this screw, kind of like on my sinks as well, that you normally would just pry off with a little flathead screwdriver. Unfortunately, that has broken as well. I could get a new one, but it's really only decorative and it's just me and my husband in here. So I'm not gonna do anything on this that I don't have to do so that I can give myself more of a reason to gut it later on. Ugh, I have to go clean that out while I'm at it, yikes. Oof, <laughs> good sucker. I think the seats and springs are these two little guys right there. Okay. Now on this little rubber gasket here, you can see that there's a little lip on one side of it. So the narrow end of the spring goes into there, like that with the rubber end at the top. And then you just take this whole thing and then you slide it in there. Alright, now for this little old man here, there's a little notch right there that matches a little notch on the side. They're on both sides, so you just fit those little notches back in and that's how you know. Before I do the rest of this, I'm gonna go clean it. But in order to clean those things, I have to turn the water back on. But luckily, I'm at a good point to do that. Once you get that bonnet nut back on that, you can uh, turn the water back on. more or less tell where the screws need to be because this needs to be on the top. Now there didn't appear to be any kind of a sealant or a caulk going around this anywhere, so I'm gonna leave it as is. I'm a little leery about that though. It seems like there should be some sort of a sealant uh, in here so that you don't get water behind the shower, but I 
If anybody's got any comments on that, please feel free to post them in the comments below. All right, put this little plastic piece back on here. All right, here we go. Oh, you know what? I put that little plastic piece in there wrong. Gotta go back and fix that. Ah, see if you have it on like this. When you try to turn it on, it doesn't go anywhere. So you need to turn it like that. All right, here we go again. Let's see. Now, when you first turn these off, there's always a little bit of water that's still stuck up in the head that has to drain out. But it's been about five minutes now and there's no more dripping and shut the water off nice and tight before I could do that. Let's see, uh-oh. Okay. Every time the phone rings now, I'm afraid that it's gonna be a quarantine call from the school. Ugh, 2020. Oh, oh God, there he is. Or she. Oh, check this thing out. I wonder if there's any little baby spiders in there. Ugh. 